I don't need to know who fell under Kendall's bed this week, but I appreciate the update. Zach, you can be as disrespectful as you like to, to your employees, to any friends you may have left, but please don't talk that way to me. Yeah, you're right. Start over. You saw Kendall. And she was with Aiden. Yes. All right. So why do you come to me? She's not herself. Yeah. Talk to a psychiatrist. I can't help you. Zach, you've loved her for so long. She's the mother of your children. You can't turn your back on her any more than I can. So what do you want to do? You want to broker some kind of peace between us? It's not going to happen either. You're making me pretty sorry that I came here. But I can't help her by myself. I really need you. I will never ask her to come back. Kendall asked me to leave. She said she wants me gone. She's with Aiden now. He didn't have her tied up, right? She wasn't a prisoner. No, no, she wasn't. Right. And you saw them together. How'd that feel? It felt so wrong. And it felt awful. That's where I am right now. I know that I haven't always been there for you. I haven't been that great of a brother. But I'm, I'm here to tell you, I'm here for you now. Well, well, we're here for each other. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, if Adam gets off and he goes home, I'm going to be all about Marissa and little Adam. I don't want to desert you. You mean if I live at Dad's house? Well, between Mom's drama and the baby and, and Uncle Stuart's murder and Annie moving in with Dad, I'm like all over the place. I don't have a guy of my own. You know, I'm, I'm running between people. Mom, Dad, Hugh, Scott, Stuart, little A. I, I never land anywhere, you know? Nothing ever feels like home and, and nothing is ever safe. I know what you mean. Every time I'm leaving, I feel like I'm getting sucked back in. <laughs> yeah, but it's not just sucked back in though. It's something that I want. And I want my dad. I love him. Somehow it's easier for me to love him more when I see him less. And I can't live in two places. He needs me, whether he ends up with Annie or not. You know, if I want a place in this family, I better step up to the plate and accept my responsibility in it. Wow, look at you. Becoming an amazing young woman. If I would have been watching closer, I would have seen it before. But I like the end result. <laughs> Actually, I, I still think I'm more of a work in progress. Well, either way, I love you. Wow. <laughs> So, uh, when are you gonna grow your hair out? What, you don't like it? No. Well, if you're just gonna insult <laughs> me, I think we should get to the courthouse. Uh. <laughs> okay, so, how do I look? A million bucks. You always did clean up rather nicely. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I'm doing fine until I start thinking about Stuart. Then I get this big hole, this emptiness. Well, I, uh, you still got Colby, no matter what. You got Colby. Remember the reason you took on the Adam case in the first place? The reason you got another baby so you could give her a little brother? Yeah, I know. And I lost him for her, too. How do I deal with this hurt? Like anybody else, you learn to manage it, to control it. And eventually, someday, you'll let it go. Okay, when did you become such a guru, huh? These days, that's enough. I'm more like the genie of the lamp. I don't remember rubbing any lamps last night. No, but you did give it the old college try with a couple of bottles of Jake's wine. Oh, God, don't remind me. Just tell me I have three wishes. You have three wishes, but you got to make it quick because you're due in court in any minute. Okay, for Adam, not guilty. For Scott, not guilty. And for Annie, guilty as hell. So I'll get off, and uh, Scott will get off, and then the hat trick. 
Yeah, it, it's the trick part that makes me a little nervous. Seems yeah. too good to be true. You trust me? Of course I trust you. I, I can't love you as much as I do and not trust you. I mean, you forgave me for everything I did. And you forgave me for not believing in you. <laughs> you protected me. You saved me. I'm just trying to return the compliment. <laughs> All right? Oops, I gotta go. I uh, don't want to be late for my acquittal. No, not at all. Coat in hand. One more. Mm -hmm. The courtroom is filling up fast with observers as we await the arrival of the major players in this case. Still no sign of either defendant in the building. What the hell do you want? I am just here to keep an eye on you until the trial's over, Annie. Why? Do you think you're going someplace? Because you're not. 